My star. What? Where have you been? I've missed you. Things have been difficult since you've... Um, collapsed. You probably don't remember it. I'm so sorry. I is your memory? Ah, I see. It must be difficult to have jumped forward in time. It wasn't that long, a matter of months, but... You... You fainted and went into a small coma. I... I tried to cure you, but... For some reason you wouldn't wake up. But I knew you'd be back. I knew I, I could count on you, my star. You... You... You have made things so much... I... I... I'm so happy you're back. Come here, my star. How I've missed you. How I've missed you so much. How I've longed for this day. How I've imagined it a million times. How I've prepared for it, thinking I could do something about it. But no. There was no way I could prepare myself to see my star again. And yet now that you're in front of me, now that I've finally gotten my wish, all I want to do is hold you in my arms. Tell you how much, how much I'm happy to have you back. My star, how I missed you. How I've longed for you. Every single day. There wasn't a single day that I did not come to visit. No matter how busy, I had to. I couldn't lose my star. And somewhere, deep within my nightmares, I could see it. Some kind of future. A future where you... where you left. I couldn't handle it. It was far too sad, and I... I had to make sure you were all right. Every time. Because that small inkling of possibility... I couldn't lose you. I could never go forward, if not with you at my side. You are my star, and I, I am your Tenya. I will protect you, my star. There's so much we must catch up on, so many things we must do. Things were going to progress to the... The, the ceremonies, but... But I think we need a moment before. Please, do not concern yourself. You didn't ruin anything. You've only made things better. If not for this, something worse could have happened. I do not wish to dwell in the, in the what-ifs, because we know what happened. We... We've made it through, my star. We've made it. I don't have to wonder any longer. I know you're awake now, star. And I'll take better care of you. I swear to you. I will not fumble. I will not make a mistake. Because I cannot. I will never see you harmed again. My star. How I've longed to say it again. I don't say it to anyone else. Because I feel it's something special between us. Something only we have. That no one else can have. Since we've met. Since we've done so much together. Please, star. I'll take care of you. I know how things must seem confusing, muddled or scary. But you don't have to face it any longer. I will protect you, my star. When I say I've missed you, you have no idea. You just disappeared. I can't explain it. This feeling welling up inside, 
only that I... I'm so happy to see you, with your eyes open for once, able to speak. No, no, I understand. It must be difficult. Then, please wait. Take as long as you need, and... You shouldn't stand up, my star. Let me be your legs. I... I will do my best. No matter what it takes, I will not let you down. Wherever you need to go, I've worked something out with the doctors. They have this medical bracelet on you, so we can go home tonight. How about it? Would you like a piggyback ride? Like old times? We can be together. Just like we were. Come, my star. We have much to accomplish, much rest and feasting for your recovery. If I sound like something's bothering me, it's, it's nothing. Just that there's been drama lately surrounding the Ida household. I apologize. It's just there's been some accusations that we are in line with the League of Villains. They've been wreaking havoc over on the eastern front of the city. We have nothing to do with it, but there's some incriminating pictures. I've made mistakes. In practicing heroism, there's been some who wish to take us down, some who wish for us to end our, our honorable lineage. I cannot let this happen. I will not. There are many reasons behind what is happening, all of which I can't say here. But trust me, my star. It is not dangerous. Not yet. I will solve this. Or maybe with your eyes. With your eyes I can find something I've missed. We can find it together. You are my star for a reason. And perhaps I... I feared the worst. I never lost hope, but I... After seeing you for months... Months like this... It scared me, my star. Over ninety days, over a hundred. It's a frightful number. When there's so many things you don't know. Come, my star. Let us do something much happier. Let us go for a run together. I swear it. I will take care of you. And we can get to the bottom of what caused this. I couldn't tell you there. In the hospital room. But part of me thinks you were poisoned. That we have someone from within who's betraying us. A trusted family friend, perhaps. I... I don't know. Could even be one of my parents. But why? Why would they want to take down the family they've worked so hard to build? It doesn't make sense to me. But I could use your help. My theory is that they thought if they took you out... There'd be some way they could get away with it. Perhaps your quirk scares them, as it could detect something. I only pray it's not too late. Too late that the, the trail has already gone cold. Let's do our best, my star. Only together can we find the end of this. Where it goes, I don't know. Maybe it's best we just stay safe, but... I don't feel safe even in the home. It's the family estate. But who could be the betrayer? I will not have it happen again. Because no doubt they'll know you're coming back. So, we cannot go home to there. I've prepared a safe house. It is with the funding of the Eda estate. As for if we can trust it, we'll have to be careful. I trust those who prepared it, 
but at this point I don't know who I can trust. And I will not have someone damaging you, or putting you back in a coma, or worse. We'll leave the investigation of the house another time. For now, I just want you to make yourself at home. It's safe here. I will make sure of it. I will do a small patrol around and make sure there's nothing strange. Just in case. Do you see anything, my star? If you do not, then I can almost guarantee safety is at hand. Please, let us not dawdle any longer. You must be hungry. You haven't eaten in months. They've had you on IVs, and it must have been scary, frightening, waking up. Please, my star, know that your, your love will protect you. I am your man, and I take my, my duties of protecting, making you feel at home, very seriously. You will always be my star, and I cannot begin to express how happy I am to see you smile. It makes me smile as well, and again, that's always been the case. My star, I've missed you. I know I keep repeating. It's just, it's so surreal that you're actually here, up and moving on your own. I know your legs must be... It must be difficult to walk, isn't it? Please, just relax. I will be your legs. I'll be whatever I need to be to make you happy. My star, thank you. Thank you for coming back to me. And I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I let this happen, if it really was ill intent. Mark my words, my star. I will stop them. I will stop at nothing to save you and bring justice to those who dare, dare to make my star sad. I cannot. I know you wish me not to, to go out there, to put myself in harm's way, but isn't that a hero's duty? Isn't that what we both agreed upon? No, oh, I feel I'd be willing to compromise on my very, my very fundamentals. If it meant I could save you. If it meant I could protect my star, nothing is too much. Well, now that you've set your things, why don't we go towards the, well, the downtown area? If you think it would be safe, I personally think us staying on the move, it gives us a chance to go on a small date. A way in which we can stay safe while not staying in one place more than we need to. We could go get street food or, or go sit in a restaurant. I'm sure there's nothing, nothing that could harm us there. And if there is, I will protect you. You have me right by your side. If someone were to do something, I will see it. I will protect Never fear, my star. I will nip the problem before it becomes one. No, you're right. I placed too much into this. Perhaps it was just a fluke. I'll keep one eye open, but no matter what happens, I will make sure I don't get sour with suspecting others. You can confirm the intentions, can't you? That's good enough. If you trust someone, I will trust them too. And besides, 
Today is a day for celebration. I cannot just accept it to be one of sadness or of drama. Now come, my star. There is much, much to be told. I will make sure you understand how much I missed you. That sounds menacing, doesn't it? But I don't mean it that way. Not even slightly. Now, let us go. I'm up on my back. You go. Is it comfortable? Not too bumpy of a ride, I hope. Good, good. Then, uh, we should be off. Do you like the view? Perhaps the wind? This storm is getting bad, but I don't particularly mind it. It's because if you bundle up, and you've been bundled up, things are definitely, definitely uh, going to be better. I believe. No one could take us away from each other, and no one's strong enough to break the bonds of love. That's enough for me. Now, uh, keep your arms and legs inside the, <clears throat> the piggyback ride, and be sure to hang on tight. Last thing we need is you dropping off me and getting hurt. I won't go too fast. Just promise me. You'll tell me if I'm going beyond what I should. I... I only wish for you to have fun. To enjoy it. Today, that is. Your time. Since you've lost some of it. I can't imagine how confusing it was. Did you have a dream? My goodness. It must have been quite a vivid one. And a very long one at that. Could you hear me when I read you stories? Then, perhaps my efforts weren't in vain. That makes me happy. I've never, never in all my life thought that I could love someone like I do. To you, I thought it was part of life, just an existence. You marry someone because you need someone to accomplish the lineage, but I can't view it as that. I see how love really is. There's much more to it, how painful it can be, how loss frightens me. I can only speak from experience, but there is only one thing I know, and that's how much I love you. How much I adore who you are, what you've become, how many smiles we've shared, and it, it's embarrassing, but no embarrassment could deter me. I am your man. Now and forever. And I will take you, my star. No matter how high the world demands it. No matter what mountain you want climbed. I'll be your legs until you are recovered. We are here. The restaurant. The sweet dumpling place. I thought it only befitting that we go to the sweet dumpling restaurant. It suited you, and I... I thought it would be a shame to miss out on an opportunity. The dumplings, both meat and sweets, they're to die for. Which one would you like, my star? Look at you. It makes me happy to see you ordering so much. I did not think you had it in you. But I will not lose so easily. You'll have to order quite a bit more if you want to defeat me. What? Think you can out-eat me? Far from it. I can eat a horse and a restaurant. A, a horse restaurant. Ha! Huh. And I could also eat you in the process. Now you're just... You're just being cheeky. But I love that about you, my star. Don't you ever lose that. I will fight for it. I know. I, 
I just missed it. <laughs> no, there's just something. Something in my eye. I just... I... I love you, my star. I missed saying it. I missed staring into your eyes and seeing the love of my life. Seeing the one person who I... I always... always wanted to be with. Who I thought I might have let down. I got scared. Every time I went there and you weren't awake, it chipped away at me. Star, you chipped away at me, but I never stopped going. And I never would have. And I'm glad we can enjoy this together. And perhaps it's too much of a PDA, but I don't care, my star. Am I too far? Too far gone, smitten by you. Some part of me just can't care, because I don't want to be a different way. My dedication to you is as ingrained as my soul itself. I will not spare any details. Anything. I will not allow myself to change. Unless it is for the good then I will find a way to make it work. If I must become stronger, then I will. If I must become more fierce, like a lion who protects his pride, then I will. And if I need to be a monster, a monster who can take you to places you've never been, then so be it, I will. Oh, pardon, my star. Was that too much? I think perhaps I've drawn in more than I could properly express. But I tried my best to express it how I could. We've lost some time, but it's no reason we can't make it up. There's lots that we can do. For instance, I could steal your food like this. It was, uh because I needed compensation. Compensation for the time that we missed. Obviously, I don't blame you, but still, I missed you. So it's justified. All right. You wish to steal mine. Then I challenge you. Match my... my bravery. Kiss me. Not bad, my star. Not bad at all. <laughs> well, I suppose you get to steal, then. But this isn't over, my star. No. We've got a lot to catch up on. Now, why don't you just follow me? Once we finish here... Well, oh, sorry, my star. I forgot. You can't walk without me. Guess you need me, just a bit. <laughs> Perhaps it's too cheeky of me. I guess it just feels so nice being needed. I didn't mean to poke too much fun. I just was told I should lighten up. That if I'm serious all the time, it'll just make me boring. So consider this my attempt at being less boring. Why, yes. Of course. You want to see something with me? There'll be fireworks on display. Not far from here. We might as well, shouldn't we? It sounds wonderful. By all means, let's find it. Come. We'll go together. Waiter, here's your tip. And the money. Thank you. Now, my star... We'll have to go, quite quick, as they're bound to start any minute. We need to go to the highest point. 
hang on tight. Star, did you dream of me? <laughs> Perhaps you are psychic, my star. Predicting me with an attitude. Perhaps you saw into the future. More than I expected, and much more than I deserve. I much prefer being a part of your dreams and otherwise. I refuse to be sidelined by anyone, or to be overtaken. I'm not some bashful buffoon. Instead, I consider myself to be your, your knight in shining armor, the man who steals your breath away and makes you feel as though you've never felt before. It's what I want. It's what I dream of, being a man that can give you everything and so much more. Because I... I refuse. I refuse to let others get in my way. Or let someone stop me from being... your... Your protector, your man, the apple of your eye, or the apple of your orchard. I, I can't remember which one it was. Hey, are you laughing at me? Good. If I am to be amusing, even if it's at my own expense, that is fine. I might not always understand it, but I will try my very best to understand you. And also uh, write poems for you. I wrote so many just to keep my mind occupied from going to the negatives. Uh, would you like to hear them? Though they're not so much poetry as just words on paper. I memorized them, just in case you ever asked while we were doing something like this. <clears throat> my star in the night sky... The one and only that sees the center of my heart. The one where my roots have always been. My soul aches for you. I long for the day when I can see those beautiful eyes again. Won't you see me? I dream of that smile again. Won't you grace me? And as I fight those who would do evil, as I protect the world, even then, won't you open those beautiful eyes? I know it's sad. It was during the saddest time for me. I could barely handle it. Honestly, my star, I could never even think about it. Losing you. Losing my one and only star would be a nightmare incarnate. It would scare me, scar me more than anything I could imagine. All I wish is for you to smile. To be healthy and happy. It's far too early before, before we're supposed to face such tragedy. And yet our lives have taken a turn for that. A turn I will not allow them. I trained very hard, even through my agony. I trained. Trained so that I might be a better man to you. Someone who could protect that smile through no matter what we face. I refuse to let anyone, neither small nor big, overtake my abilities. Before it was duty, but now it is passion. My skills are my own. Eat, eat a family is my family, but I do not take pride in them until I know who is responsible, until I know who did things wrong. Do I seem scary, frightening, my star? I am sorry. It's just these past months have been so lonely without you. I blamed them. I blamed whoever it was, the nameless assailant. 
whether it be fate or a being of flesh and blood, I couldn't forgive them. I couldn't let them be. I hated feeling powerless. I've never felt so powerless in my life. It was terrible. My star, I'm glad to have you back. But the fact that there may be people out there that would do you harm like that, someone minding their lives, that, that is something I cannot forgive, nor can I just simply move past it. I must do something. I must, I must, no. I can't get stuck on this. But please try and understand me, Star. I'm not trying to be the bad guy. I just don't want them getting away with hurting you. I never thought I could behave this irrationally. I never thought it was my place to. But I... I just want this night to be special. Forgive me, Star. I got too into it. Too angry. Too frustrated. And now... I've made a fool of myself, but no longer. I have much to learn about being a human, a hero, and a man, but I will learn it alongside you. I swear to you, I am no one's fool, and I will make it right. Please, Star, we're here. Can you feel it in the air? The fireworks, the excitement. It's the harvest festival. When spring comes, though it's not quite here yet, they, they will be any moment now. Ah, there they are. They make me so, so happy like the world is celebrating my star's return. The night sky is so lonely without you. I never dared look at it, because I knew you wouldn't be there. But now that I see you, in the lights of the sky fire, all I can think is I'm the luckiest man in the world, because I managed to meet and be reunited with the one who matters more to me than breath itself. My star, I love you more than love itself. I love you more than I've loved anything, and I want you to feel it. In this embrace, in all these words and expressions I'm not so good at, I only pray it comes through, that the feelings are not lost on you. I love you, my star. I love you so very much. And I will protect you from here on out. None can stop us. You know, I never get tired of that. The way you smile. The way you look in odd when you look at me. Am I so awe-inspiring? If so, I... I'm honored. Honored that you think so. And it makes me want you that much more. My precious star. I will always... Always treasure you. And there is none. Not a single person capable of... Of making us... Less than we are. I swear to you. On everything I am. As your man. I will not let go. These arms and these lakes. They're for you. They will be strong to hold you in an embrace. One that's not so easy to fall out of. One that no matter who wishes to contest it, they cannot lift anything to stop us. I only need my star. You light up all of the darkness 
in my heart. You make my fear seem like trifle little things. And all I can think of, Star, is how lucky a man I am. How lucky I've been to witness you come into your own. To witness you understanding and... and being safe. I was so paranoid. Paranoid someone would go to the hospital and... and hurt you, or worse. It was so bad that I met... I slept there for most of the days. Everyone was an enemy. I never want that feeling again. But I couldn't trust anyone. I couldn't go and, and trust people who could be my enemy. I just couldn't bring myself to. It felt like I'd be betraying you. And instead, I tried to just give you hugs. Hugs and hold you that may be in your dreams. You would feel it. That may be in your dreams. My embrace would reach you. And when you woke up, I, I almost couldn't believe it. I thought I was dreaming. I thought I was caught in my own dreams, my delusions, because I kept having the same dream of you waking up so many times that I, I wasn't sure what to believe. It was as if the world itself wished to play a trick on me. A trick I didn't very much like. One that I couldn't stand. And yet one I had to. My star. If I could put it into words. I would say it, it's a miracle. A miracle that you came back with what the doctors said. But I'm so happy you did. Thank you for being my star, for giving me something, something that I can, I can believe in, something I can dream of, without feeling as though I'm some kind of, some kind of robot, some kind of man who just functions on clockwork alone. I'm not. You've shown me that. Even though rules are important, I know now some must be broken for the ones we love. You know, doing things in public, public displays of affection are illegal. And yet, I find myself not caring. I find myself hoping someone sees. Do you know why that is? It's simple, really. That rule is stupid. Whether it was put in place for order or anything else. I know now, my star, there are things greater than order, worse than chaos. And that is the wonderful, powerful, horrible feeling that love can give you when it's taken away. I will not allow it to ruin me. No, I'm not so weak a man to dedicate myself to anything but you. I could go along with what my family has for a generation, but what would that accomplish? if it led you to your doom. The rules of my family would have me do nothing to trust it to fate, to say that what happened was mere coincidence. And how can I be sure? How could they be sure? I felt betrayed that they weren't taking me serious or that they were enemies. All because of order dictating it. What fool favors order when it damages someone so special, so amazing to me? 
order cannot save you. Only I can. No, only we can. Together, my star, nothing is impossible for us. Together, we can make this, this city, our lives, safe, happy. And while order has its place, I will not be a slave to it. I wish to be, in order as much as I can, but, but even my pet peeves pale in comparison to, to your safety. Pardon, I've been rambling about it, but I haven't had a chance to ask you how you feel. What is it you think we should do? Then, then we are in agreement. That deserves a celebration, doesn't it? And I've got just the thing. More PDA. Of course, they won't notice. And so what if they do? I want the whole world to know. You're my star. My one and only star that I wish to claim. My star in which has a side so bright <laughs> and one so coy. No, star. You must leave it to me. What people don't know won't hurt them. But I can tell it would hurt you not to have my touch. Not to have your man, Star. I know what you love. I know what you need. What you've always needed. You've needed me, did you not? Your loving man to take the stage. To steal away from you all your worries. To make all these problems pale in comparison to... What's the matter, Star? Can you not concentrate? Aren't the fireworks... Lovely. Oh, can't even hear them. Then, perhaps we'll listen to you instead. What's the matter, Star? I'm not doing anything too maddening. It must just look like we're holding each other. What does it matter? They don't need to know how much I love my star. And I do love you, star. What's the matter? You wish to get more? You're not a star. And that's fine. I think it suits you. Or maybe I should say, it's frightening how much it does. Quick, over here, Star. Behind here, no one would be looking, especially with the fireworks. They'd barely make a sound. That must be why. Oh, Star. This is very illegal. And so what? I don't care. Behind this, they would never know. Even if they did find out. 
we would be gone before they would know. And what of them? Why would I waste my time? I just got you back. I want you to be mine. You're my star. All mine. But you already knew just how much I felt for you. Just no order no longer is the only path for me. There is much more, much more to this life, to our time together. Much that I can't even begin to express without showing my love, my desire, in all its raw, unending feeling. I, I love you, my star. You are everything to me, and I will be the man who deserves every single element of you. I'll make sure, no matter what, I am the best man that could ever be for you. Make sure that every need, every desire, every dream of yours comes true, as true as the fireworks in the sky. I can never reach you like I can, Star. They can never dig as deep, my Star, as deep as our love flows. Now, wasn't that, uh, exciting? Well, uh, public displays of affection uh, are just the beginning. Look up at the sky. It's erupting with glory, resounding you back to the realm of the awake and, and those that can escape from all that is bad. I will make sure of it, my star. Let this embrace. But these arms are strong enough to hold you. Can't see it? That's fine. I'll hold you. And we'll go up higher. <clears throat> Can you feel it? A nice breeze in the air. Now that we're up in the tree, together, we'll see everything. Of course, I'll sit you in my lap like this and snuggle you. Like you're, you're not a star, you're a, a baby star. No, a, a little star. Perhaps a, a, a teddy bear? No, you're cuddly like one. You really are my star. With a smile like that, eyes glistening in the moonlight, in the fireworks, I could ask for nothing less, nothing more. All I want is you, my beloved star. All I could ever ask for, every day and every night, is to stare into your eyes and hold you. Just like this. To know you're all right. And for you to know. That everything's going to be fine. For you to hear my heart beat. For me to feel yours. That together. We could never. Ever leave each other's side. That by. Togetherness. We can be. As one. I'll snuggle you as long as the night lasts and long into the morning. In fact, I'll never stop snuggling you. We'll make a harness for you so when I'm running I can snuggle you. Yes, it'll be like those baby harnesses, except for one for the front where I can hold you. Why do I feel? It suits you perfectly. 
Yes. Now, where was my schematics? We'll make it together, okay? That way, whenever I'm solving crime, you'll be right there in front of me. And I'll snuggle you like no one was ever snuggled before. <laughs>